So we have this equation and we're being asked to solve it for r. So this is a quadratic equation in r because we have an r here and we have an r squared here. So what we'll do is we'll set it equal to zero and attempt to use the quadratic formula. So if we subtract s from both sides, let's write it like this, two pi r squared, that's like our x squared except it's r, plus 2 pi h times r, and then minus s, and that's equal to 0. So you can think of this as something like ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, except instead of x, it's r. Okay, And now you can identify your a. Your a is going to be 2 pi. And then b will be 2 pi h. So b is equal to 2 pi h. And then c is just negative s. OK, so the formula for the quadratic equation, it's called the quadratic formula. And instead of x, it's r. So it's r equals, that's negative b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, it's all being divided by 2a. Okay, let's plug everything in uh, very carefully here. So r is equal to, so let's see, here is b, so b is uh, this 2 pi h, so this will be negative 2 pi h plus or minus the square root of b squared. So we're going to take this b and we're going to square it. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it. I won't skip any steps. So 2 pi h squared minus 4. And then a was 2 pi. So this is 2 pi. And then c was uh, negative s. So negative s. Just like that. All over 2a. So 2a is 2 times 2 pi. So that'll be 4 pi because it's 2a. All right, let's see uh, what we can do here to clean this up. So r is equal to negative 2 pi h plus or minus the square root of, so here we square the 2, so we get 4. We square the pi, so we get pi squared. And we square the h, so we get h squared. And then look at this, negative and negative is going to make a plus 4. Oh, not 4. It's going to be 8. Right? It's going to be 8 because 4 times 2 is 8. So we get 8 pi s all over 4 pi. We can actually do some simplification here. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, and this piece here, uh, I'll do it on the side here. What you could do is you could factor out a 4 like this. You could do 4 parentheses pi squared h squared plus 2 pi s, right, because 4 times 2 is 8. And then you can break this up into two square roots like this, square root of 4, square root of pi squared, h squared, plus 2 pi s, just like that. And so what happens now is the square root of 4 is 2. So this is actually negative 2 pi h plus or minus 2 square root of pi squared h squared plus 2 pi s, and that's all divided by 4 pi. And so now you can actually factor out a 2 in the numerator like this. So 2 parentheses negative pi h plus or minus square root pi squared h squared plus 2 pi s all over 4 pi, and then you get some cancellation. Boom. So the final answer would be r equals negative pi h plus or minus square root of pi squared h squared plus 2 pi s. That's all divided by 2 pi. And that would be the final answer. Quite a bit of work. I hope this video has been helpful.